We have 85% of adults over 35 uh, have some form of gum disease. It's basically epidemic. The link between gum disease to systemic illness is well established and past approaches of products like Listerine, kill germs on contact and Colgate Total and all these other things um, that are taken antibiotic or antimicrobial approach are not only ineffectual, but harmful. Gum disease is a major, major source of chronic problems in the entire body for men and for women. So we look at, you know, a, a real surprising statistic for men. If you have gum disease, you're three times more likely to be impotent. You're 14 percent more likely to develop cancers, kidney cancer, 49 percent higher risk, pancreatic cancer. 54% a study from Harvard University, 67% higher risk, blood cancers and diabetes. And for women, major, major problems with gum disease and um, premature low weight babies and uh, preeclampsia, a dangerous blood pressure condition, all correlated to inflammation of the gums. And I'm often horrified that a lot of OBGYNs don't even let their patients get a dental cleaning when their gums are all inflamed during pregnancy. It's called pregnancy gingivitis. So we'll talk more about that. Um, but surprisingly, and this should make everyone wake up uh, on this program, inflammation is a link between gum disease and cancer. Chronic inflammation has been associated with a number of systemic diseases and cancer. And it's, it's about um, the regulation of inflammatory mediators um, that mediates the development of cancer cells and, and the effects of harmful bacteria in an imbalanced environment of the mouth. Um, they are serious pathogens that can transform a DNA of cells. So um, gum disease, is a major source of chronic low-grade inflammation. Um, I did a program at, um, up at Harvard Medical School one summer in complementary and alternative medicine. And this was a book I read on stealth infections and how they cause cancers, heart disease, and other deadly ailments. That was back in the early 90s. Time Magazine on their cover um, had how inflammation is the silent, the stealth infection that everyone has. You know, everyone, gum disease doesn't hurt. You know, I often have patients say, oh, when I brush my teeth, they bleed a little, they always do that as if that's normal. And I, I often say, if you were combing your scalp and your scalp was bleeding um, or brushing your scalp and your scalp was bleeding, would you think that was normal? The answer is no, it's a sign of inflammation. So gum disease bacteria, this is April 2015, gum disease bacteria are indeed a catalyst for cancer cell growth. And the big bad bacteria, Fusobacterium nucleatum, it's the most common bacteria in the mouth. So how does it go from benign to what I like to say badass? <laughs> and, the, and it's all about the environment. It's all about the terrain. So the progression from health to, to disease, from healthy gums to where your gums bleed a little bit when you brush gingivitis to where, oh, wow, my gums are receding and I'm seeing these dark, you know, these red ring around the collar of my teeth. Um, and that's periodontitis to advanced periodontitis, which is, wow, my teeth are getting loose. Um, this is a progression I often compare it to these pretty brownstones in Brooklyn where everybody's taking care of their porches and, and everything's neat and cleaned up. And how does it go from that to that? And the answer is, it's all about the terrain. You know, bad economic conditions was the terrain here. Um, and certainly bad economic uh, and social policies, uh, welfare policies and things. And people did not take care of things and, and uh, the way they should. And unfortunately, a lot of oral care products are creating this without you even knowing it. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that. So it's really all about balance. 
You know, it's like that song. It's all about the bass, the bass. It's all about balance, 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 balance of this natural ecology called the oral microbiome. So homeostasis is in the middle. And you see that green and yellow? Those are aerobic bacteria. So this plaque in the middle of this blue circle is really all about um, this area here is all about, it's a thin, clear, odorless film. When the plaque in your mouth is in this healthy state, it doesn't smell, it's not sticky or smelly, it doesn't cause gum disease. But when you disturb it, uh, and there are products out there that disturb it, that, and, and products that strip it. So the, to the left of your screen is like a desert where there's, you know, if you oil pull constantly, which is a detergent uh, process um, that was described in Ayurveda, oil pulling, which we'll talk about it. It's become very, you know, popular. It's become like a, uh, a, a popular um, technique. The reality is, is that oil pulling is fine to take you from the right side of the screen to the middle. But if you oil pull every single day, you're actually stripping the microbiome. Same thing with charcoal and clay. You know, I use charcoal when I take out amalgam mercury fillings. But if you continue to brush with charcoal, not only is it abrasive to your enamel, it strips the microbiome and you end up with this basically desert. So you want this really nice, healthy, organic garden. When you go to the right, you get this thick film. And this thick film has all these spirochetes and all these other things that are very perfect milieu, perfect uh, culture for, for them to propagate and cause inflammation of the gums, which is reflected by this red. So the oral microbiome is made of water, salivary proteins, cravicular fluid, immune complexes, minerals, vast numbers of organisms. We now have identified about uh, 1,200 species, and, we and they are 6 to 10 billion in number. And they do amazing things. They transport minerals from saliva for your teeth to heal themselves. They transport ionic minerals from saliva to remineralize your tooth enamel. We're going to talk about that. I get asked all the time, can teeth heal? And the answer is in the enamel, yes. But when you get a deeper cavity into your organic part of the tooth, the dentin, often not that uh, will need surgical intervention, which is the excavation of decay and a proper restoration to restore the structural integrity of the tooth. But this probe over here that's scraping this stuff off, that is not healthy plaque. That's what we find when the oral microbiome is out of balance. So all of my work and research in the oral microbiome over the past 20 years has all about promoting balance. It's all about the balance. 